Welcome to TGD in context. Context is king. Context matters. If Christianity is a white man's religion, why should I follow it? This is the question that is often asked by my fellow Africans. If Christianity is a white man's religion, why should I follow it? This video is going to be a very controversial one. So I would like to begin by asking a question to say, what should I do if God use a European or if God use a Korean or somebody else? What should I do? Because according to the scriptures, the ancient writings, the Bible from the book of Isaiah to be exact, God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. And some people say God is not a respecter of man. In other words, God does things according to his ways because his ways are perfect. His ways are righteous. That is why if you look at the Bible, God chose Daniel, God chose Abraham, God chose uh, whomever according to his own will. So this is my just honest question to say, what should I do if God use a European? But I have uh, other questions because we have to address this question. If uh, Christianity is a white man's religion, why should I follow it? So there's this question that I would like to ask as well. What is Christianity and where it started? Because we have to uh, find out accordingly if Christianity originated from Europe. So we have to be exact. In other words, we have to uh, have the right answers or we should have the right information to say, indeed, Christianity derived from Europe or originated in Europe. So that is why we have to ask these two questions because uh, they are going to lead us towards finding uh, the answers about the origins of Christianity. What is Christianity and where it started? Uh, for example, Christianity is not what many people think it is. Christianity is not what you see in many churches across the globe. Christianity is to follow the Messiah is to follow Jesus or is to follow Yeshua. In other words, if Christianity is to follow Yeshua, it means is to follow the righteousness of our Lord Jesus, to accept him as the Lord and Savior and to follow his teachings or to abide in his way. This is the easiest definition of Christianity. In other words, to follow the Messiah. So it means if you want to follow the Messiah, you are free to do so. To follow the Messiah doesn't require all these difficult procedures and processes. It only requires only one thing, to follow him, to follow his example or to follow his teachings. But here is another question that we have to answer. Where is started? So in order for us to find out where Christianity started. We have to find out where the promised land was because Christianity definitely started in a, in a promised land. Why? Because the disciples of our Lord Jesus are his first followers, are the ones who started to follow our Lord Jesus. So that is why I believe that Christianity started in a promised land. So now we have to locate the ancient promised land. So without being too controversial, I would like to say the, the ancient promised land was located in Africa. So the reason I say this is because of history, is because of culture, is because of geography. That is why I'm very consistent that the ancient promised land was in Africa, based on history, based on culture, and based on geography. So it's just that 
In this video, I won't have time to break down everything to the fullest, but I'll try by all means to connect some few dots so that you can understand why I say the ancient promised land was located in, in Africa. So it's based on history, it's based on culture, and it's based on, 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 on geography. So where Abraham was living, because now we have to talk about this character by the name of Abraham, because this is the man who was given a promise by God Almighty. So this man was not living far from, from Egypt, ancient Egypt. He was not far from ancient Egypt. So that is why, based on the geography of the Bible, it tells us that Abraham went down to, to, to Egypt. In other words, from the upper side of Egypt, which is probably around Sudan, then to the lower side of the lower side of Egypt, which is uh, famously known as the North. But we have to understand that the geography of the Bible is just a bit uh, 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 different. So that is why the Bible says Abraham went down to went down to Egypt, probably from East Africa or Sudan. In other words, he was not far from Egypt, where he was, where he was staying. That is why I believe that uh, this man, Abra Ab Ab Abraham, lived in Africa. But there's something that we need to focus on again, which is culture. Culture is very impo important because most of the cultural behaviors or the cultures that are found in the Bible are still resembling what is happening in Africa, are still resembling the cultures that are in Africa. For an example, in ancient Egypt, they were worshipping ancestors. They were making sacrifices, uh, practicing magic, and all those, uh, those, those, those things. So if you look at where these practices are being practiced or where these cultural uh, practices are still being practiced is, is, is Africa. And again, if you go to the Mosaic law, if you look at the Mosaic law, uh, we can talk about the law of circumcision. Uh, we can talk about many other laws. Those laws are still being practiced in Africa until today. So that is why most of the cultural practices that are in the Bible, they resemble the cultures that are, that are, that are, in, that are in Africa. So that is why the descendants of the ancient Egyptians are still there in Africa, practicing uh, those, those cultures and all those things that God didn't order the children of Israel to worship or, or, or things that God didn't want the children of Israel to, to practice. So it means Egypt was not far from the, from the, promised, the promised land. I know other people might say, oh, uh, 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 Jesus and Abraham are from Middle East and, and, and etc. So if your focus is on Middle East, then Middle East is half of the history. Is not the full is not the full history because it's very important to study the movements, the movements and the changes of uh, 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 the location and all those things before you can say Jesus is from is from is from is from the Middle East because right now as we speak, uh, Middle East is a new thing. Uh, Middle East is. Uh, is, 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 is a new thing, or if I say is man-made, I know many people uh, will be offended. But I still believe that ancient promised land was located in Africa based on culture, based on history, based on geography, and based on social factors. So before we can say Christianity started in Europe, 
it's very important for us to do what to focus on history to focus on culture to focus on on geography so based on all these things that i've mentioned then we know where the promised land the promised land was so if the promised land was in africa if the promised land was in africa then christianity started in africa as the way to emulate christ as the way to emulate uh, the messiah or to follow the messiah but there's something that we need to talk about the tables were turned there was a time when the tables were turned upside down in other words the information was uh, colonized so when you colonize the information many people will lose their identity many people will lose the information about who they are then the oppression started about maybe four to five hundred years ago then africa became a target of oppression or a target of colonialism then these people oppressed africans so in that process they introduced they introduced the bible and some people might ask if the bible started in in africa then why it was introduced by by the by the colonizers or the europeans is because there was a time when the tables were turned even the information was colonized so the reason many people don't want to associate themselves with christianity is because they don't want to associate themselves with anything that will remind them of what they went through because christianity was introduced to many people by the by the by the by the missionaries and these missionaries were working hand in hand with the with the colonizers but there's something that i would like to talk about in america back then during those times in other words the 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 the, 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 the slaves in in america were not allowed to read the bible they were not allowed to read the bible so if the bible or if christianity uh, started in europe there was no need for them to be prohibited from reading the bible so that is why there are many things that we need to consider to consider here before we can say oh christianity started in in europe so if you believe that christianity started in europe you have to give us a proof based on locations or based on geography based on culture uh, based on history so that we can be convinced that indeed it started in europe so as i've said in the beginning i don't have a, a problem of following uh, the messiah in other words if the messiah came from europe if the messiah came from europe and after thorough verifications we have found out that indeed is the will of god is the way of god then i don't have a problem to accept a white a white jesus or, or, or a white messiah i don't have a problem i don't have a problem with them but the truth is the white jesus is is fake and now the reason many people every time you talk about this topic every time you bring this topic they would often say jesus uh was was not white and jesus was not black or jesus was uh, uh, from middle east uh, something like that is because many people still can't believe that the messiah came from africa people don't believe people don't take it because if they can be convinced some people will lose their faith if people can be convinced that the messiah came from africa many of them will lose their faith this is the problem we have because in the back of our mind or at the back of our minds 
we still don't believe that something good, something powerful can come from Africa. So I believe that these scriptures resemble Africa and I believe that the Messiah is for everyone because Jesus said, go all over the world and preach the word of God and tell them what to do if they accept, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's why this gospel ended up in Europe. That is why this gospel ended up uh, um, in many parts of the world because uh, Jesus Christ or Yeshua made an order for this gospel to be preached. But many people in that process, in that process, they hijacked the information. That is why today we still have uh, 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 many people who are struggling to believe that Jesus is from is from Africa or Jesus was born in Africa as a black person based on history, based on culture, and based on geography. And if many can be convinced, they might lose their faith. Me personally, I don't believe that Christianity started in Europe. So this video was not intended to offend anyone. And I would like to say thank you for watching this video to an end. But if you find it difficult to remember everything I said in this video, please remember Every time you come across someone who tells you that Christianity started in Europe, they have to prove using culture, using history, using geography. And again, every time you come across someone who tells you that it started in Middle East, they have to prove it in the same way.